Question 1. What strategies can be implemented to ensure that the secondary curriculum is inclusive and meets the needs of diverse learners? My answer is to ensure that the secondary curriculum is inclusive and meets the needs of diverse learners. Several strategies can be implemented. First, differentiated instruction can be used, as outlined by Tom Linson. This approach involves tailoring teaching methods, content, and assessment to accommodate the diverse learning styles, ability, and backgrounds of students. Second, culturally responsive teaching, as advocated by Gay in culturally responsive teaching, theory, research, and practice, helps create a supportive and inclusive learning environment by incorporating students' cultural experiences, perspectives, and identities into the curriculum. Lastly, the Universal Design for Learning Framework, outlined in Mayer, Rose, and Gordon's book, provides guidelines for designing instruction and assessments that are accessible and flexible, accommodating a wide range of students' needs and preferences. Um, by incorporating these strategies, the secondary curriculum can become more inclusive, ensuring that all students have equitable opportunities to learn and success. Question 2. What role do self-assessment and peer assessment play in the secondary curriculum and how can these approaches be effectively implemented? My answer is, according to Black and William, self-assessment and peer assessment play important roles in the secondary curriculum by promoting student engagement and the development of critical thinking skills. Self-assessment encourages students to reflect on their own learning progress, set goals, and take ownership of their academic growth. Peer assessment, on the other hand, allows students to provide feedback to their peers, fostering a collaborative learning environment and enhancing their ability to evaluate and provide constructive criticism. Mm, to effectively implement these approaches, teachers can provide clear criteria and rubrics for self-assessment and peer assessment, ensuring that students have a clear understanding of the expectation. It is also crucial to create a safe and supportive classroom environment where students feel comfortable giving and receiving feedback. Additionally, providing opportunities for reflection and discussions on the feedback received can deepen students' understanding of their strengths and areas for improvement. Question 3. What policies and practices have been implemented to support the professional development and ongoing learning of secondary teachers? My answer is, in Australia, policies and practices have been implemented to prioritize the professional development and ongoing learning of secondary teachers. The Australian Professional Standards uh, for Teachers, APST, serve as a foundation policy framework that outlines the knowledge, skills, and professional practices expected of teachers at different career stages. These standards provide a common language and benchmark for teacher development across the country. The Australian Institute for uh, Teaching and School Leadership, AITSL, plays a crucial role in supporting teacher professional development. AITSL provides a range of resources, professional learning opportunities, and online tools to help teachers um, enhance their practice. Furthermore, state and territory education departments in Australia offer various initiatives to help ongoing professional growth for secondary teachers. These initiatives include mentoring programs where experienced teachers support and guide early career teachers, as well as collaborative networks and professional learning communities that enable teachers to engage in shared learning experiences and professional dialogue. These opportunities allow teachers to learn from their peers, exchange ideas, and stay updated on best practices. Overall, the combination of the APST supported by AITSL and the various initiatives provided by state and territorial education departments in Australia creates a comprehensive system that prioritizes and supports the professional development and ongoing learning of secondary teachers. By engaging in continuous professional growth, Teachers are better equipped to meet the evolving needs of their students and also contribute to the improvement of education as a whole.